Stress is unique for everybody. Imagine when you're born, you're given a bucket and these buckets come in different shapes and sizes for everybody. Your bucket represents how vulnerable you are to stress. Now, that bucket gets filled up on a day to day basis with life. It can be things such as deadlines, finances, childcare, health worries, uncertainty, conflict, poor diet, even down to moving house or relationship breakdowns. Day to day things add a layer to your bucket. If we don't look after our bucket, eventually it will overflow and stress will be evident. You might see stress in being more irritable, tearful, crying, difficulty concentrating and racing thoughts, or even an increased use of alcohol. Headaches, tiredness and tension are physical signs that we can be stressed. This is some top tips for dealing with stress and overall general well-being. Being more active, we know, is good for our general health, but it is also good to help us get rid of that pent up anxious energy that we can often have when stressed. Talking and connecting with others is a way of not only talking through problems, but also helping us not feel so alone. When feeling low, anxious and stressed, we often find that we have negative thoughts. By challenging these thoughts, it's often a way of helping us see if our thoughts are just due to the stress and what would be a more helpful and balanced way to view the situation. Problem solving techniques can help us look at solutions when stressed, there does not seem to be one. Spending time writing down your problem and breaking it down into many different options is a good way of working through something logically. Breaking down bigger tasks into smaller counterparts is often a manageable way of seeing the bigger picture. Doing something bit by bit is better than not doing it at all. Relaxing or relaxation is needed to help us empty our buckets on a regular basis. Everyone's relaxation is different, but finding something that works for you is crucial to helping dealing with stress. When stressed, we often see the negative in everything that we do. Spending time looking for the positive in our day, our week, is a good way of combating and counteracting the effects of stress. One way to do this is to ask yourself, what three things have gone well today? Or what three positive qualities have I shown today? And finally, when low, stressed and anxious, we often avoid doing the things that we used to enjoy. So stop and ask yourself, have I done something I enjoy today? If the answer is no, then what should you be doing? Using the guides included in the links are ways to help you become more familiar of how to look after your general well-being and deal with stress.